Hello everyone, my name is Saryam Nath and welcome to IoT Frontier. I know many of you might be interested in IoT, but wondering how to get a job in IoT, what are the career prospects in IoT? Don't worry, I bring this video for you guys to clear all those doubts. In this video, we'll take you through the different job roles of IoT, how to gain those uh, skills of IoT and what are the different companies that offer the IoT jobs. Watch till the end so that you don't miss out on the salary trends in IoT jobs. Before we dive into the content, please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button as it takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So let's get started. Let's get into the presentation. So the first one is job roles. So what are the job roles that are available for IoT? So IoT is a vast field and it offers several job roles for individuals looking to start their careers in the field. The adoption of IoT is rapidly increasing in India. In the past seven years, I have been looking into job posts in Naukri and LinkedIn for IoT and I could see the jump in IoT roles in the past three years where companies started to create a separate department for IoT altogether. So some of the popular job roles in IoT are here. So coming to the development or maintenance uh, related job roles, we have IoT engineer or developer. So IoT engineer or developer will have to uh, have the skills from embedded systems to cloud computing to better compete in the job. Next one is the IoT data analytics. It involves using IoT data for the analytics to find the trends and business insights. IoT security specialist. So it is a job that involves security specialization to implement security at all, all layers of IoT implementation. Next, we talk about the manager or architect roles. So IoT solution architect is a role uh, that is for experienced IoT professionals who designs an architecture for IoT solutions, keeping the scalability, redundancy, security in mind. Next is the IoT product manager. So this role is for those who would like to get into the managing uh, the projects or the products of IoT. Next, uh, the third one, the type of uh, job role is the support. So that is IoT technical support engineer. So this role is to provide technical support for various IoT platforms and tools. For example, AWS offers a job role called AWS IoT technical support engineer where they have to support the customers for the queries in AWS IoT. Next, let's go to the companies. So what are the different companies that offers IoT jobs currently? As I mentioned, several companies have embraced IoT and now offering several job opportunities in this field. Some of the leading companies in IoT are Accenture, Mindtree, Tech Mahindra, TCS, Wipro, Deloitte, and Infosys. There are other companies as well, but these are the top uh, hiring companies in IoT. So where do you find the jobs? That is job portals. As we all know, LinkedIn is a popular one. Naukri is the second one. And also this will provide us the jobs for the MNCs. If you want to get into the uh, small companies or startups, then AngelList is the one that will provide you the jobs for the startups. So how do we gain the IoT skills to get the jobs we have mentioned? So basically there are so many uh, ways to get the job and the skills relevant to it. So in the previous video, we have spoken about what are the skills needed by an IoT developer. So you can click on the I button on the top right corner if you haven't watched it. So in this video, we'll be speaking about how to gain these skills various uh, means. So uh, the first one is about the self-learning. Self-learning is uh, through online courses. So and also we have different IoT kits, for example, which include hardware components like development boards, sensors, actuators, so that you can create your own hobby projects or real-time projects so that you will get hands-on into IoT. So second is the bootcamp. There are many bootcamps which range from one to five days in time. You can attend any of them and gain deep understanding of IoT. In the bootcamp, you should look for not only the theory, but the practicality of the uh, IoT kits. And the third is about the meetup groups. There are so many meetup groups in meetup.com where 
experts will conduct several uh, meetup uh, meetup programs so you will have to attend uh, for it and then collaborate and learn and uh, the next would be the training courses and certifications so many institutes provide three to six months or one year courses in iot and provide a certification in that for example cdac cdac is a government organization uh, so that also provides a good course in iot for which we have to pass an exam to to attend that so next one is about the streams and specialization so currently many colleges have started iot as a stream and offers it as a specialization in btech and mtech programs so in my case if i say my personal experience and how i gain skills are through point 1 and 2 where i have done self learning courses and also experimented with iot kits for example uh, raspberry pi arduino and many other development kits and the sensors and actuators and also i have attended a boot camp for 5 days to learn deeper into iot so with this i started uh, getting understanding of the project skills uh, that are needed in the iot so we have reached a important topic that is called salary so iot developer salary in india so basically depends on several uh, key factors like size and reputation of a company the job role you are taking up the location as well as skill set that you are looking uh, applying for and the work experience of a candidate so uh, it is always advantageous if you gain a niche skill and iot is very niche skill that recruiters find hard Uh, to fill the positions because of this salary trend for iot developers are way higher than general iot professional for entry level salary start from 4 lakhs per annum to 6 lakhs per annum here you cannot see much differentiator because the experience is less so you have to first uh, if you are a fresher you have to first get into a company with iot uh, job role and slowly gain the experience and then you will get a good salary so in the Uh, mid level professionals you will get 10 to 25 lakhs which is more compared to normal it professionals and for the architect or manager levels you will get a uh, salary which is more than 20 lpa so by this you can understand uh, that getting into the niche skill of iot you should not be worrying about the salaries in conclusion iot is exponentially growing field that offers several career opportunities the iot career opportunities that currently exist could never be even imagined or thought of before so why wait to learn iot i have created many videos on iot concepts and created a playlist called iot fundamentals that you can hit on the right top corner so i keep creating multiple uh, playlists and videos for you guys so never forget to subscribe the channel and hit that like button if you find this video informative please leave a comment and also let me know what are the other topics that i should cover in the comment section below in the upcoming video i'll be covering a very interesting topic that is different iot development boards thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video